crumb. I eat potato chips to crunch away the noise. The noise is not noise if I'm the one who is in control of what's loud. I'm a lot three years old. You can't see me if I close my eyes. See, you have no idea where I am. I guarantee I am somewhere thinking about the people who choose the middle seat on an airplane. When our elbows touch, my heart goes so fast. I dare myself to not pull away. It's the point of life. Don't let anyone tell you different. The point of life is increasing the amount of time you can get your elbow to stay. My joy likes to run from my body quick as it can. I've been practicing holding it the way you practice holding your breath at a public pool. I can do about half a lap before my panic freaks out in its little red whistle. My panic is not a lifeguard, but you can't tell my panic that. My panic Googled how to give CPR to yourself. <laughs> Despite how it might look, I was raised right. My father is a good man. I love it when people laugh at them. <laughs> My father is a good man. When I asked him why he stayed three years in Vietnam, he told me the army offered him a free trip to France if he stayed the extra year. When he left the room, my mother said, no, Andrea, that is not true. Your father stayed the extra year so his brother wouldn't have to go. When I came out to my family, they took me to a psychiatrist to get my head fixed. The psychiatrist said you were not responsible for your family's happiness. But my father's brother is a happy man. It was a lot to lose. I never nightmared so much as I did those years. I was at a Catholic school playing basketball for the lady monks. I was taking environmental science from a nun who did not believe in dinosaurs. What I knew about extinction was that my family stopped calling and I, I started working demolition and volunteered to run the jackhammer through the asbestos tiles on the building's floor. When I finally got my degree, the only job I could find was as a telemarketer selling a product called SCORE, a cologne guaranteed to get any man laid in the club. There were times when your life is not in the upswing. And no one, no one was saying it was going to get better. When they said straighten up, they meant, they meant straighten up, but some of us, some of us can't help but jackknife out of the net. Some of us know love is not the only closet we were told never to come out of. There is also the closet of grief, the closet of panic, the closet of rage, the closet of sadness, the closet of awe and want and bliss, every honest grit that we feel. This world asks for a stencil instead, for the chatter of cordial manufactured machine, and yet, yet here we are daring our elbows, out-noising the noise, forgiving the past, for not being the past, making no excuses, for wanting to feel too much. There is no, no tragedy that doesn't knock the wind out of us, but we, we follow that wind where it goes, running with our wind chimes, dragging behind us like we were just married, to knowing the breakdown is what trampolines the bouncing back. Call my ring finger, whatever I use to flip off the rules of how my feelings are supposed to suppose is supposed to act. I am always a groom with a heavy, heavy heart, just learning to pull my own weight without wishing I weigh less than I do. Learning brave is a hand-me-down suit from terrified as hell. Dress me in whatever will get me to the door of my heart. Get my faith and us under your skin. Hold my stubborn in the palm of your free. Tell whoever is sitting beside you tonight, Thank God you never got braces. Your bite looks like a city skyline. I bet you leave that kind of mark on this world.